11 months into a whirlwind romance, Joanna and her boyfriend, Dr. Greg Conrath, are on vacation in sunny Puerto Rico. But the trauma surgeon reveals he could be planning a traumatic event of his own. Call a point, clouds are on your brain. What? It's got to penetrate your skull, but not go through the other side and mess up in there. He's talking about killing his ex-wife. 23 minutes of grisly detail, all captured on a dramatic iPhone recording, courtesy of his girlfriend, Joanna. What was going through your mind when you decided to press that record button? I didn't want him to kill the mother of his children. Did he act like he was confiding in you? He wanted to tell me because he wanted me to tell the police that he was home with me um, so that I would be his alibi. Conrath is so cavalier, he's even prepared to get caught. If I get caught, I can do the time. I've lived a full life. I'm a tough guy. While you're recording him, mm -hmm. you're not trying to talk him out of it. You're just, what, in shock? Mm -hmm. But when she finally snaps out of her shock, Joanna doesn't sound so concerned for the mother of those kids. She sounds more concerned for herself. We're going to have to start leaving the money. Why? You don't care about me? Yes, honey. Then what to stay by for? I'm yep. just saying, you're going to have to help set everybody up okay. I can't set you, I wish I could set you up okay. I can't do that. And then a strange question that will even confuse Conrad. Are you married before? Are you crazy? I always want to get married before that. And that's all thinking of you. That whole comment is thinking of you. All right, not me. You give you something to hang on to. When you said to him, should we get married? What did you mean by that? I started asking questions because I needed to know whether it was real or not. You sounded very upset that he hadn't thought about you and, and how he was going to look after you financially. Well, of course, because I thought we were in a relationship and then I come to find out that he's made a whole plan of his life somewhere else. Somewhere else with someone else. Turns out, Conrath is married. Meet Cynthia Salazar, who lives outside Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. She's the doctor's current wife. When did you find out about the wife in Mexico? On the trip in Puerto Rico. They had been texting almost daily. Dr. Conrath is apparently full of surprises on this vacation. And Joanna suspects after he's done the deed, he's moving on to the missus in Mexico. So all this time you were dating him, almost a year, he had a wife. I figured that's where he would go after he killed Anna because he'd been sending money to Cynthia. Talk about leading a double, make that triple life. Still, Joanna just wants to know where all this leaves her. So do you have a plan for me and Cynthia? Cynthia is fine. Okay, and? I'm talking to you. Nobody else knows this. Nobody. I said you have a plan for me and Cynthia as well. And you said Cynthia is fine, so that means you must have oh, no, a plan no. for me too. Are you kidding me? Like that? Cynthia's fine. She doesn't need anyone to take care of her. She's got 140000 of my money. A full life, family, and stuff like that. I can't do that. You want me to wait? I don't want you to do anything. I don't need your help. I planned this out as something I would do by myself. Joanna's vacation is over. She tells Conrath she's getting another room in the hotel, but she's secretly plotting her return to Indiana. How long did it take you to get out of there? A day, and then I stayed at the airport um, until that flight. But she does one more thing before she leaves. She waits for Conrath's paycheck to clear and empties their joint checking account. You took some money out of the account. A joint account. Why did you do that? It was our money together. I had to survive. A day later, Joanna's back in Indiana, and she's not taking Conrath's calls. So he calls law enforcement to check on her, telling them he fears she may be suicidal. So what did you think when that officer came to your door and said, Greg wants us to check on you, he says you're suicidal? I just figured it was part of the plot. 
When she hears suicidal, Joanna wonders if she's Conrath's new target. So she tells the officer what's really going on. Did you then share the recording with her? Mm -hmm, I did. And then her partner came in and then they listened to it. Detective Sergeant Mike Rogers can't believe his ears. Couldn't this just been a guy blowing off steam, talking about his ex-wife like a lot of guys do? That's always a possibility, but I thought we needed to go a little further with the investigation. And you told me that that recording was Greg Conrad's voice, is that correct? Yes. Whether out of conscience, revenge, or fear, Conrath's confidant is now ready to spill the beans.